Here are you guys some menus. Oh, thank, thank you. you. And then our drink menu is on the back. Thank you. Enjoy. That's what we want. Maybe we should wait on Gina. For it might be a while. Oh, oh, We're Gina, does kidding. she run late all the time? Mm -hmm. Gina? Okay. Well, she can't run late for yoga. No, she's always on time for class. So how did you think the yoga went? I, it, that was our first event. So, yeah, and, yeah. and there was so many people that I had not met. Were these people experienced yogis? Were they brand new like Shannon? She's like on yeah. her mat falling down. Well, you down. know what? That could have been the hundredth time she did yoga and she still would oh, have still be down. like that. So, okay. Yeah. I thought it went well. I thought everybody was Excuse very Excuse me for interrupting, great. ladies. How are we doing tonight? Very good. Okay. Awesome. What are we drinking? I'll just do a glass of champagne. Champagne? And for you, miss? I'm going to do an espresso martini. You got it. Can I get a Diet Coke, too? Please? Ooh, I want a Diet Coke as well. Diet Coke, yeah. Oh. You got it. Did you just do that? <laughs> I always order a drink and a Diet Coke. I've never met anybody else who does that. That's because you're from Oklahoma and I'm from Ohio. That's why we do stuff like My that. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know if it's a Midwest thing, but Jen is easy to talk to. I think she's interesting. I think she's warm. There is something you can't describe about somebody who was like raised in a small town. There is an ease and I feel that with Emily. I guess that's the yoga. Yoga does that to people. Makes them very zen. Maybe I should do yoga. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. starting with Diet Coke or drink? Hi. Amazing. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Hi. Hi, honey. Good to see you, sweetheart. Where are you? None. Hi. Where should I say? Here, there, everywhere? Wherever you like. And are we hungry? Uh, maybe a charcuterie bar? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a charcuterie bar. Charcuterie. Bar. Could I get you a drink? Um, do you have any mocktails? Yeah, absolutely. Like a skinny, spicy margarita? Virgin, right? Yeah, please. Yeah. I stopped drinking, which helped me like lose a lot of weight and look great, but also like mentally, I think it's really much better for me. Have I don't you ever like seen crab all the time. It's not good for me. No. Shammer's not good for me. Uh, no. So I am California sober. We don't drink, but we still dabble in the marijuana. Thank you. She's a virgin. Yeah. She's not having premarital sex. No, I'm having post-marital divorce and then, sex. And then <laughs> and lots of it. When I met Ryan, I was just in a marriage that was dying mm -hmm. and just having this like excitement about somebody that I shouldn't have. Like we had been sleeping in separate rooms for two years. I'm gonna put the cauliflower here. Ooh, Look, I'm good. drinking two drinks at the same time. Watch. One, two. I love it. This I is a new the charcuterie board oh, here. Thank you. And so I look back at it, you guys, and I think all those kids I was fostering, all those animals I was fostering, I think I was always looking for like something to like help me to love and to love yeah. you back. Initially, my ex-husband, Will, did blame me for ending our marriage. He was pissed. But then, just two weeks ago, we had a conversation. I felt like I was like this puppy at your feet all the time. Like, notice me, you know, talk to me. I'm sorry I made you feel that way. I'm sorry for the sh path that I took our family down. You don't have to say sorry anymore. You don't. I'm sorry I didn't love you like you wanted you to be loved. For him to take ownership was the greatest gift Will could have given me in our separation. Did you do therapy? Mm -mm. We didn't ever. We would do this like marriage thing at church. I, it was always like the elbow, like, are you listening? Like, are you listening? And then I meet Ryan. Everything that was chipping away, he was feeding, mm -hmm. you know? Get to the part where like you and, what's his name? Ryan. Have sex. <laughs> Truly, you guys, I would tell you, I'd never even held his hand. Wait a minute, so you didn't have, because I heard never. that you had an affair. I did. But that's not an affair. If Travis is in another room, talking all night long to another girl, if, oh, even though he has not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I see how it happens. I don't want to judge Jen, but obviously I am not pro-cheating. I was part of one, you know, and I see how that happened. But at least when you're on my side, you get to walk around with your head held high, you know? I have so many more questions. I'm just like genuinely curious. Like, oh, and to me, relationships are really interesting. Okay, real quick. I want to just hear your party. Oh, yes. All oh my these, God, okay, I'm really excited. So all these ladies yeah. that I met at the retreat are coming. Yeah, all the ladies are coming. So I wonder at the end of summer party, and I have a friend who has a phone, and she said I could borrow her phone. Gina, do you know that I grew up on boats? That'll be fun. We want to come. Well, I want you to look hot. So everybody has to wear pink. It's going to be like a last flamingo party. It's gonna be sort of in the spirit of the flamingo. I love that. So I want everybody to wear pink. Do mm -hmm. so you have flamingo games? So let's That's play a, a great game. idea. You can have prizes. Yeah, totally. I don't great. know what. Blue.
I love how I think all of this is gonna fit into a room the size of a jail cell. It will, hi. We're gonna make magic happen here. And it's gonna go so perfect. Cute. All right. Hi. hi. What are you eating? Snacks. We have Twinkie here. Hey. Yo. Yo. What's going on? Are you guys sitting on a huge bag of packing peanuts? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, I like them. This is better than any this chair we've got for yeah. <laughs> Did you see your sheets? Yeah, you Did engraved you touch them? them. No, I did not that, touch it's them. It's called embroidery. It's embroidery. not engraved. So if you guys all do laundry together, if it gets lost in the fluff and fold thing, you'll know it's yours. I feel like every time I come down here, there's just more and more stuff. It's like you have to start a whole new house. Okay, first there's the bedding. Sunset lamp, fairy lights, hamper with separate sections, body towels monogrammed, plates and bowls. I got the bamboo kind, they're better for the environment. The micro fridge, it's like a microwave and a fridge combined together. Envelopes and stamps, she likes to write letters. Wall safe, tape, yoga mat, diffuser. I love you. I love you. You're going Thank to you. Yes. Ooh, can Thanks. I go? Love you. Now. Have fun. Thanks. I'll see you later. Thank you. I'll Bye. be here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. What are you doing? I'm actually en route to meet Tamara. Well, I think I think that's great. I think. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, good luck. Via Cordios, call me after. All right, okay, have All right, fun. drive carefully. Okay, bye. Hello? Hi. I just got a call from Shannon. How do you feel about meeting her? Um, I think I'm a little bit nervous. She needs to be able to listen to me and understand where I'm coming from. I was there for her, and I don't get it. I do want to make things better. I don't want it to be, like, weird when I'm around her. Do I think that we can fall back into the friendship we had for years? I don't know. 